All right, good morning from Kingston. And it's another day on the water, but we seem to be in the middle of a regatta going on, a sailing competition uh, with teams from Canada and the United States, all ages, well, I'll say all ages, like kids to teenage, mid late teenagers. And we just gotta find our way out of here. So it was crazy trying to launch. <laughs> I couldn't film anything because I was in such a rush to get it down, get the boat in, see you in, and, uh, and then find somewhere to park. But it's an absolute zoo down here. But uh, once we get out of the water, it'll be great. We can't really complain. The weather's fantastic for this time of year. And so what, it took us a little bit longer to get out than normal. But let's remember, it was a free parking ramp and launch facility. So keep that in mind. All right, we finally got out of the traffic. So uh, we can start doing stuff now. Apparently, we're heading towards a couple of islands. Uh, one has a castle, so we're going to go and visit a castle today. Maybe see another lighthouse, who knows. So another fun filled day. It's currently about 21 degrees. It's going to turn out 28, 29 today. The humidity is going to make it feel like 34, 35, uh, which is close to what, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, it's going to be a fun day. So I'm just waiting for Mark to finish yapping. Uh, once again, there's the penitentiary. Where all the bad people went at one time. the shipping lanes then. Most of the islands didn't have signs but there was the occasional few that did just like this one uh, letting you know it's the government of Canada's land and this one in particular is called Milton Island. So we stopped at a few just to have a little look but after a while they all get pretty much the same. Uh, uninhabited uh, rock with trees on them. Just think these islands and these rocks are just sticking out of the lake here. Probably been here for a, a million years if not more. Uh, maybe at some point submerged fully underwater, then after the Ice Age, uh, all became free and above surface. Way before any of the settlers came here or any of the natives were here, uh, these rocks were here way before anyone. Alright, to give you an idea of what we're doing, where we're trying to go to, I'll just put it on the map. So this is Wolf Island right there, that's what we went around yesterday. So we're going to be going up into all this section and maybe on beyond that as well. So we're probably going to go beyond those uh, islands and just keep going and, and going. We've got lots of gas with us today. And Mark says that castle's quite far away, so I'm looking forward to getting out there. And we're going to get off and have a walk around and explore it as well. your own little island in front of you. Oh, this is pretty around here. Really nice. Then Lawrence too. Oh, it's like a James Bond boat in there. That actually reminds me of those motorboats we have to have when I was a kid in Lou, where I grew up. 
the speedboat, so I hope I can get in there and have a look. A great big public dock here, so anyone can just come up and dock here and have a walk around the town. Really nice. It's got a vibe of uh, Niagara on the lake. But really, you are on the lake. Niagara on Lake doesn't really have much. Uh, the town itself on the water where you can actually, you know where you can actually dock actually, publicly anyway. Not Gananokway. I said Kanagokway, Gananokway. Love the old boat as well. Look at that. All right, moving on. Got plenty more to see and do. Busy, busy day. Sadly, there was a lot of stuff on top of the surface of the water, and of course, my sea dew ingested it. So it's time for some IDF. That's all you have to do. All right, I'm ready. Georgina Island and the bridge in front of me is the Thousand Islands Bridge. Now I'm gonna guess, I haven't looked at my map just yet to check it, but I think this is what crosses Canada into the US. I want to believe that is correct. What I'm gonna do is have a quick look in a minute. Okay, that's still Canada. So if you take that road, over the uh, Allen's Bridge, Thousand Islands Bridge, it'll just keep going and going for quite a while, and then it'll take you across the St. Lawrence, and then you're into the United States. Uh, that'll be a cool bridge to ride across, to be honest. Uh, I bet it's a great view of there. But uh, hell of a current here, out of nowhere, this current showed up. Got a bit of money. Look at this. This is spectacular. Oh my god, it's even a waterfall. Get out of here. <laughs> it's 
epic. That is epic. Absolutely brilliant. Get up to it. Get out of my video! Get out of my video! <laughs> Isn't that sick, eh? I'm more risky than you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. He looks like he's holding a piece of IKEA furniture and he's trying to figure out what to do with it. <laughs> Seriously. He's like, how did I assemble this IKEA, this Swedish damn piece of furniture? This guy fixing these IKEA furniture is uh St. Lawrence. Straight drop. How is one supposed to read that? I mean even with binoculars, I couldn't read all that print on there. Sadly, a little backlit on this angle, but this is Singer Castle. And we're going to go and explore that very, very shortly. So this is Singer Castle. Uh, located here on the Thousand Islands. We're going to try and more of another walk around so I can show you and tell you a little bit more about it. Oh, someone knows Mark already. Look at this. Celebrity. So, uh, anyway, it's... We, the next tour is at two o'clock, and then we're gonna. But we're, we're, because this is US, uh, we gotta go over a bit closer to land so we can use our phones, register on the, uh, the US border app. Uh, to be, we do have our passport so we can actually legally land on here. Then we're gonna do the tour at two o'clock. So technically, uh, Mark's not here. Well, we'll edit him out of that bit. All right, change of plan. Uh, Mark says Bolt Castle, which isn't too far away. They have a they have a US customs there. So we can actually uh, just go and see someone rather than try and get a phone signal. It might be quicker. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Bolt Castle, have a walk around that, legally land, and then we'll come back over here and do it here as well. Perfect. Look ahead, look astern, look the weather in the lee. Blow high, blow low, and so we'll sail we. I see a wreck to windward and a lofty ship to thee. A sailing down along the coast of High Barbary. What a nice looking vessel. He beats that crappy pirate ship I saw in Hamilton. Remember that one? <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah, that's it. 
quite frequently going through the Welland Canal. That's exactly where she's heading to now. There is so much traffic on this waterway. I'm like, I don't know which way I'm going. We're all over the place. So anyway, this is Bolton Castle. Having been on the sea dews now for a few hours, it is a great opportunity to get off the sea dew, stretch our legs and have a walk around this so-called castle. Anyway, check it out for yourselves. All right, it turns out I couldn't use the app because the app kept crashing since last time I used it and I couldn't force it to stop it was really weird anyway so we just came through the customs here and all's good uh, we just have to say the two men in the uh, border patrol there the two elderly men who i think were ready for retirement or on punishment were a little upset that we weren't using the app and we tried to explain but they still weren't happy all right so we're at bull castle uh here on the uh, st lawrence we're going to check it out we paid 13 dollars us to come have a little walk around and See what it's like, so why well, don't you can join me? I'm going to be honest with you, it's boring, so I'm going to fast forward a lot of it for you to save the time. Uh, basically, it's a big old house that was built, a very ambitious plan by a very rich man who owned a big hotel, the Waldorf Hotel, I should say. And uh, anyway, when his wife died, he gave it all up and it just got left to ruin, and now they're trying to redo it all up. Bottom line is, it's not a castle, it's just a big house. So their uh, interpretation of a castle is completely different to what my interpretation of a castle would be. What is a castle? Well, a castle is basically a large building, typically of medieval period, fortified against attack, with thick walls, basements, towers, and in many cases, a moat. Like this. This is like a large stately home, like a manor house. Wolfie would live, but it's definitely an old castle. Come on, this is pretty shit. <laughs> Basically, it's a fixer upper. Ex millionaires that freaking died here, left it to ruins, and now they're trying to patch it all up. The Bolt family. All right, that really was crap in there, but this is nice. I know often I get called negative Nelly, but for God's sake, that was bloody awful in there. That was garbage. $13 US to see someone's house being rebuilt. That's not a castle. Where I come from, castles are like six, seven hundred, maybe a thousand years old. Okay, off to the next castle, Singer Castle. Now at Singer Castle, the only way you can do this is by booking a tour, and that's exactly what Mark and myself did. We booked a tour. Did you hear anything about that on the boat? Secret, yes, stair yes, secret yes. staircase, secret passageways. And so they are located, I'm gonna tell you all about it now. Uh, about the big so apparently King Charles the First wasn't decapitated because there's a book here that says he lives here. Uh, which was the same quarry for Polk Castle. 
Changing history. Uh, this is a different, lighter color stone um, to build the, the medieval style room. Um, like I say, it's from a Scottish castle. Uh, to cut a long story short, basically there is a sewing machine in every single room. You'll find out very shortly why. Uh, the island was originally called Dark Island Castle and it was renamed recently to Singer Island Castle. So Singer Castle is basically the home of the Singer family, of course, which created the sewing machine. Of course, which created the sewing machine. I knew the pool steam was going to go by, um, but it got here a bit quicker than I expected, so I quickly left the tour group behind inside the building and I ran out onto the uh, balcony so I can capture this shot and joined the other tour group, which was ahead of ours. Um, they weren't too happy about that, mind you, uh, but oh well, I got the shot I wanted and in another video, I actually chased this ship uh, down the, uh, up the St. Lawrence towards Lake Ontario and I actually uh, posted the video just recently, so I'll put a link somewhere up here. Walk straight ahead, if you will, down the brick of furniture. Usually, I think the big is good. This is, this is a decent size. Kind of reminds me of the uh, sports room of the, of the team at Everton Football Club. Uh, this is her bedroom with Alexander. All right, so uh, I've come to the realization castle means something completely different in America. Um, <laughs> This is basically a hunting lodge for the rich family. Uh, singers, the guys who made the, uh, famous for the sewing machine back in the day. So this is their hunting lodge, but they call it a castle. It ain't no castle. Uh, but they're worshiping these people as though they're like war heroes or something. But they're just wealthy people who had a hunting lodge in the middle of the Thousand Islands. Bizarre, it'd be different if it was someone who's like, um, oh, I, I went to war and I did this and I did that, but no, it's, it's, it's just a wealthy family home. So that was over and done with, and just to let you know, I didn't pay, yes, because I was the last one to arrive. Uh, she didn't have time to cash me out, so she told me to come back, and then she was too busy, so uh, yeah, I got to see uh, this so-called castle free of charge, so there you go. Anyway, uh, people wave him to us, he was part of our tour group, so it was nice chatting with them, and uh, safe travels to you guys. Anyway, it's time to hit the water once again, so uh, let's uh, get on out of here and crack on. Two bars, range of 50 kilometers. I think we got more than that to travel. I got 10 liters to put in. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, this will get us back. Fuel in. It went up one bar. 
Uh, but we've been two minutes, it now says I've got 40 kilometers left. I think we have 50 to go. <laughs> this is gonna be a close one. Thankfully, um, the, the lake right now, well, the river, I should say, is getting towards the lake, is like glass, which is really helping. And if it gets really critical, there is a couple of marinas on the way, and I'm, if I have to, I'll get marina gas. I don't really want to, uh, but I, I have faith that I will make it to Kingston uh, before it runs out. I think this 40 kilometers is wrong. Um, I think it's more likely I got 50 or 60. So I'll put that 10 in, and it'll show you 50 when I put the 10 in. So something in right there. So we'll soon find out. Uh, Mark hasn't put fuel in. He's running on the same fuel uh, tank as me, 70 litres. So he's trying to run his right down. So as soon as he runs out, I know I got a little bit longer. Oh, but he does have a spare fuel tank as well. He just hasn't used it yet. the penitentiary here still showing two bars of 35 kilometers which it was 25 30 minutes ago back up there so uh i reckon i still probably got about 15 liters of fuel in here so it's not as bad as i thought anyway this is an interesting thing uh i started off the uh, mileage at uh 48640 it is now 49 sorry say that again 4864 4864 and now we're at 4970 So that makes it 96 miles. 96 miles, 153 kilometers. Yeah, about that. Anyway, nearly 160 kilometers. If I drive around a little bit longer, I might be able to get the full 100 miles. So anyway, uh, thanks for coming along on this epic ride up here at the Thousand Islands. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, bottom line is, their castles in America aren't castles. They're, they're just big stately homes, which, um, they're looking for the general public to fund to fix it because uh, the millionaires that used to own them have all buggered off. A bit odd that really, isn't it? So anyway, uh, castles, uh, rough waters, a couple of ships. Uh, we've seen it all, it's been great. It's been an absolutely brilliant adventure. So uh, thanks Mark for hanging out with me today and uh, taking me along, showing me around a few places and I made a few places up myself as I went along. Uh, but yeah, back here at Kingston, where we launched from. And uh, that's another trip ticked off my list of places to visit. So anyway, until the next adventure, uh, stay safe, look after one another, and I'll see you all very, very soon. As we ride into the sunset.
and here we have it, back on land.